Yeah, I mean, I totally... So there's a, a few different evolutionary psychologists have this tendency to talk about different programs. And it's like, there's a lot of analogies that get made between uh, brains and computers, or some of them are kind of somewhere in between analogy and homology. But there's this idea that like, I mean, in a, in a way to look at it, a way to a way to assess it within yourself is to read read some anthropology, read about some societies that did radically different things than anything you would ever conceive of doing, you know, and and understand that if you lived in that society, you would in fact, you know, like you you would behave that way that you're that you just like that seems like utterly incomprehensible, but I think like that is a really important point is that all of like kind of the whole range, the whole constellation, it's not even really a range of like political behaviors, perceptions, basic sort of like social tendencies. I, I think they live in everybody. I, I think that I think that all of those programs are somewhere in our architecture. And it's a question of it's a question of like thresholds and sensitivities. Like I think that the innate variation that we're talking about and the external material variation will tend to like bias people towards loading one program over the other. And then, and once it's loaded, they're hard to like, you know, like they orient you towards particular variables and particular narratives. So, you know, like, again, once you, once you get into one, it's really easy to stay in one. But yeah, I, I emphatically, what I do not think the science says is that these differences, that people are unreachable. I, like, I, I don't think that's true at all. I think that people are easier or harder to reach and reachable in different ways. But I, I really do think that, you know, like the, the capacity for a really different, like more cooperative, more fundamentally egalitarian way of just like relating to the world is there in every, I mean, in another way that even as, as misguided as I think the whole like sixties, everybody should just do drugs thing was, I mean, that, that is kind of a window into the same thing where like a lot of people took this one substance and suddenly found a set of perceptual coordinates in themselves that, that totally, totally. Yeah. Like implied a very different world. And I, I can understand on some level why they thought like, well, we should just give everybody this stuff. And then they'll see that, you know, like everything is one and it doesn't make any sense at all to try to, you know, to try to like, you know, get over on other people and, and exceed and dominate them in these conspicuous ways. So like, I, I think it's all, I think it's all there and what the, but what the science tells us is that kind of stuff. Like we were talking about, like, there are some people who are going to be receptive to say a, a set of really logical arguments about the, the consequences of inequality or the concentration of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere. And there are some people who are probably going to be a lot more receptive to something analogous to a police procedural, but that demonstrates the utopian society we want to live in. Right. But that somehow or another, we can flip the switch in a lot of different people.